Hey guys, Braden here at Creative House Studios in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm about to bring you another game review. This week, we are going to take a look at Tom Clancy's The Division. Let's get right into it with pre-gaming. Tom Clancy's The Division was announced at E3 Summer 2013 and originally scheduled to release in March of 2014. Two years later, with multiple delays, we finally have the end product as of March 8th, 2016. We can all agree that this long of a wait with this many delays can really kill the hype meter rating. This isn't a complete mishap because the only reason you would delay a game is to make it even better. The cinematic videos that appeared on many different broadcasting systems really saved the hype meter rating for this game. Again, these videos gave the correct amount of detail for this game. The main storyline of Tom Clancy's The Division is an outbreak of smallpox in Manhattan, and it has driven the city into chaos. You play yourself as a division agent, which basically means you're a sleeper cell for this kind of situation. The hype meter for The Division is a 6 out of 10, due to the amount of delays to the release date. Now that we're done with pre-gaming, let's jump right into You Got That Right. The Division is a cover-to-cover, -cover, third-person shooter RPG MMO with a diverse loot system that makes you want to play for hours on hours because deep down, we're all greedy motherfuckers. This basically means that you shoot enemies over and over, do missions all the time to get the best loot in the game. With character customization at the beginning of the game and being able to pick up apparel and change it throughout the game gives a unique touch to each individual player. Now the map is huge and it really portrays a city that has fallen into chaos with random bad guy encounters when traveling from mission to mission. The weapon system is very diverse with many interchangeable parts that you can customize to fit your personal gaming interests. This game also comes with a clever PvP PvE environment called the Dark Zone. The Dark Zone allows you to farm more loot and you get to attack other players within the zone. This is a great place to enjoy with your friends or you can just do the main story missions and a variety of side missions and encounters. Lastly, the game isn't a breeze while you're playing. It really challenges you to think about the way you, you attack the enemy. You can't just run and gun your way through the game. You just end up dead and a nuisance to your teammates. You just have to remember that the cover of the game is your best friend. Stick to it and you'll win. That's it for what's done right. Let's move into meh. Let's start with the most annoying part of the game, the AI system. The enemies are somewhat predictable. They either bum rush you or stay under cover for the entire firefight. There's really no rhyme or reason to which way they move. You easily learn the difference between each enemy because there's a marker that depicts what each one does. This makes it a little too easy to depict which target to take out first. Another thing is you can't jump, crouch, or go prone without cover to do it on. This isn't really a game killer or something that affects the game too negatively, but it's more or less of an inconvenience. When you're playing the game, you pick up different items like cell phones and files that add to the main storyline, but I have to go into the menu and find each one of these, and you don't find them in order. It puts you into the environment a little bit more, but it's unrealistic. One thing I don't like about the Dark Zone is when you go to extract the items you've gained, only four people can put their items on the helicopter. That's just unrealistic. It's a helicopter. It can hold a lot of weight. You could put so many more bags on that. Lastly, when you get to the end game, you'll find that it's not yet complete. There's no real end game material for you to do except for playing missions over and over again. There's no raids where you expand your group from 4 to 8 or even 12 to get even better items yet. That will add a whole nother difficulty level to the people that have reached level 30. Now, the creators of the game have already announced at least one raid in the near future, so that's going to be fixed, but again, it's not 100% complete. With an extra two years, this should have came out with the game release. And that's all there is for what fell short of the game. Now, let's move on to Final hmm. Thoughts. The Division is a great game, and I would recommend it to especially those players that play together, like myself and my friends, despite the game not being 100% complete even after the two years of waiting. Overall, I'm going to give The Division an 8.5 out of 10. This will be a game you will for sure see me playing in future videos. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and let me know what you think in the comments. See ya!